Today we are doing a car camping overnight. We're gonna be taking turns dropping the ball down the Plinko board. Whatever amount you land on is the budget you get to get your car, supplies, and anything to make your experience better. Isaac, you drop first. Okay. Vroom, vroom. Whoa, is that a McLaren? I'm a oh. loser. I'm sorry, Isaac. A hundred dollars. Hello? <laughs> the loading shocked. screen. Really? It's going Come forever. I need to check on something. <laughs> Something's going on. Where'd your brain go? There's no way I'm gonna get a car and anything to put in it with a hundred bucks. You can rent a car for less than a hundred bucks. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have to buy a car? No! Oh! Farra <laughs> luminosa! Come on. Do me well, please. Oh, 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 oh! oh! Five thousand Spanish for glow sticks. Let's go. Uh, that's what that is. Yes, that's what that means, guys. Is that what that means? Yes, it is. I know the ten thousand dollar option is still available, so obviously I'm going to be rolling for that. Pit stop. Oh. Hey, hey, what the, what the? Oh. Oh my! Two thousand for you, Andrew. Yeah, well, that's still decent. Dude, that's really good. I've been scouring the internet looking for the most luxurious camping car I could find. And I think I found one, guys. Check this out. A Sprinter van, but the inside, complete luxury. I got a bed, shower, all the necessities. So I'm going to request to book this one. Let's rent it. I just found a pretty cool vehicle. We drove all the way up to Denver and we're about to rent it now. I am so excited for this one. Here it is. I found this insanely outfitted Jeep. This thing is off-road capable. It's got a roof tent. It's got this mega awning. It's got a full kitchen in the back. Ooh, don't want to show you too much yet, but this is going to be my vehicle for the overnight. I still have a lot of budget left for food, snacks, accessories. So who's ready to ride? I'm really pumped because this thing has so many crazy cool features in it. It's gonna be luxurious. It smells phenomenal in here, which smells are very important. I've had my fair share of stays in horrendous places that just smell awful. But this one, you can tell it's well taken care of. Back there, plenty of space for all my activities. But I'll show you guys that later. First, let's go to the store. In the vehicle, driving it back. Have you found a vehicle yet? <laughs> the only vehicle that had availability for under 50 bucks for, for the day. Remember during the hide and seek, that little tiny little Fiat that you got to ride around in? Yeah. Oh, you got a little tiny car. Yeah. Oh, that's not gonna be good for you. <laughs> what do you rate this one compared to yours so far? This one gets a solid nine and a half out of 10. Mine gets a solid two and a half. But your rating could go up depending on what you add to it. That's true. It could be a solid four. I'm wondering what Justin's gonna get. Just pulled up to Shield, games and activities, comfort and luxuriousness, and then finally, an overload of snacks. I still have a ton of money left over because my vehicle didn't cost too, too much. So, comfort is one of my categories I'm looking for. Memory foam slippers for inside. Gotta get these. Let me present to you the vehicle that I'm gonna be using for my overnight car camp. Authentic Italian Fiat. Even got the little flag. Rick went and picked it up for me while I was going with Andrew to get his vehicle. Hey, that's not too bad. That's actually better than I thought it was. In the pictures, it looked like I'd be like with my knees to my chest. This is nice. There's two seats in the back. So it actually does give me more space. Let me check out the trunk, see if there's room for me to land. That's good. I can sleep in here. It might take a little bit of work, but I'm gonna out! Step one was to get the vehicle complete. Step two, get supplies for the vehicle, which I'm doing now. My car has the tent topper, which is cool, but it's also winter, so it's gonna be kind of cold. I need to make sure I stay toasty warm, maybe heaters, but also super warm blankets, sleeping bags, and all that. This is exactly what I was looking for. Whoa. A heated blanket. It literally has a picture of what I'm doing. I have to. Want <laughs> one? No. Oh. <laughs> Ha, it's perfect for me though. This would be like the ultimate campsite. That's probably why they set it up like this. I have got to get everything UGG related. The softest gear in the game. Where's the onesie? Rock'em Sock'em Robots. This will be a good game when I have friends over. A game. These things glow. As you might be wondering why Andrew looks so cool today, it's because he's wearing, oh, my soft snacks hoodie. Peep the back. It's quality, you can feel it. It's raised, it's like, feels good. Soft, cozy, looks good. Well, wasn't that the best ad ever? 
<laughs> yeah, go buy one after the video. For some reason, weight workout is speaking to me. I'm just gonna get a kettlebell. You can do a lot of stuff with just a kettlebell, and I'll show you guys at the campsite. <sighs> there is no way I'm leaving the store without buying a bunch of gnomes. I don't know why, but it's past Thanksgiving, and I'm just in the Christmas spirit, so. Probably every version of the gnome I can find. Epic, the wandering gnome. Dude, $65, no problem. Well, I wanted some like comfy PJs. Oh, Sasquatch. This would be the perfect PJs, right? So I was really smart when booking my vehicle. It's $35 a day. So I'm only spending $35 on my ride, which gives me a solid amount left. Ah, I was really good. <laughs> ah, I keep doing math and then Matt does those edits where it makes me look dumb. I'm like thinking really hard anyway. Nonetheless, I cannot afford anything here. I want to be wise. I want to get a bang for my buck. I'm going to go to Walmart after this. I'm going to Walmart after this. <sighs> I'm expandable. Oh. Bruh. Okay. I already love Christmas, but gnomes, I don't know where they've been my whole life, but they are now my new favorite. I got to find every gnome thing possible. Christmas is coming early, guys. Are you kidding me? What is this? Yes. Okay, we're at Walmart. I'm here to get some poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God led me to where I needed to be. I need a towel. The space in my car is not very big. And so to make some comfort, I don't know what to say. I couldn't think straight. I was like, talk normal, talk normal. Ah. In real life, I'm gonna have to find, this is real life. <laughs> this is not a different universe. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find something small enough to make my front seat comfortable. And I'm gonna have to find something fun to do. I'm gonna have to find something to eat. Like a sandwich with a little bit of poop on it. Do a half pound of poop on the side so I can dip, you know, dip the sandwich in a poop. I just found the most unique item I've seen. This is going to be so cool tonight. All right. Perfect. I think we're good now. All right, I'm getting this thin mattress. It'll be more bendy if I don't fully inflate it. I doubt in my little car I'm gonna be able to get my seat laying all the way flat. So it's probably gonna have to be almost like a recliner. You gonna be cold or? Am I gonna be cold? Yeah. I don't know, am I? <laughs> I'm in a car. Are you gonna keep it on the whole time? Oh, I guess I can't do that, huh? I'm assuming you're probably gonna want a blanket. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for this video. I've always wanted to go camping in one of those rooftop tents that you get for cars. So I am like so pumped for tonight. Way to keep the duvets around it. <laughs> Today is actually probably one of the greatest days to have the low baller budget because it's Cyber Monday. All this stuff is gonna cost me half of what it would on a non-cyber day. Cyber means online, not in store. That'd be like Black Friday. Are you serious? I didn't really think about what cyber meant. Can I get a picture? For sure. Thanks, man. Good to meet you, bro. I mean, good to see you again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you've seen what happens. If you see me in public, it's probably going to be awkward. I'm an awkward guy in real life. What other life are you not awkward? <laughs> Fake life? Well, they're watching me on the, the TV. That's not real. Oh, that's real. This is a real cringe. Don't be alarmed, but the check engine light just popped on when I was driving and the car kind of like shut down for a second. Yeah, I was pushing on the gas and then you felt it. Yeah. Yeah. And then this check engine light came on. Oh, this overnight's going downhill fast. <laughs> My budget only requires expensive, luxurious snacks and meals. So I'm heading straight to the steak section. My budget requires the cheapest of the cheap. So I'm going to go to the peanut butter and jelly section. Luxurious drinks, agua de kefir, cultured tonic of Mexico. Don't know what that is, but I'll drink some cactus. My car comes with a refrigerator in it. So I got to get some stuff to keep cool. And I'm thinking of some yummy meals I can make on my uh, pull out kitchen. Oh, I just had the most insane idea. I can't even tell you what it is. No, shh. I already know, guys. $17 ribeye steak? Absolutely. A lot of you know me as the Glizzo King, but today I'm gonna be going for grilled cheese. I've been into grilled cheeses lately, and you know I've made some crazy ones. We got the raisin with the, whatever that other cheese is called. But today I'm going standard sandwich, but the way that I'm gonna cook it is going to be legendary. Can't afford any cooking utensils, so I gotta use what I got, and what I got is a Fiat. We've seen these before. These are one of the best chips ever invented. Just found a super unique Oreo hot cocoa flavor. Wait a minute, it's got marshmallow, and chocolate. <gasps> marshmallow and chocolate to make the hot cocoa, but it's like marshmallows. Oh, ah, put me in the cart. Let me huff it. Seriously? <laughs> I came here shopping for groceries, but I'm also keeping my eye out for something else. Well, you fine. None of your concern yet, Isaac. <laughs> I got everything decorated, and before I give you guys a tour, let me change into my car camping outfit. Be right back. 
Ta-da! Come inside! Welcome to what I'm calling Gnome Sweet Gnome. I really leaned into the Christmas decorations. Got the gnomes right here, a Christmas tree with some gnome decorations. We are gnomed out, guys. Plenty of Christmas socks and a complete Christmas outfit just to really get in the holiday spirit. This isn't really supposed to be a hat. It's not very inconvenient in here. Right here in the kitchen, got a bunch of delicious treats, all the most luxurious chocolates and cool holiday treats I could find. Got a coffee maker. That's gonna come in clutch when I wake up in the morning. And in here, we've got all the nice luxurious drinks, bunch of strange things you may have never seen before. And dinner is right in there. Gonna be cooking that later. So right here, actually, I have a shower and a toilet. So I could do both at the same time just to knock it out, out of the park. <laughs> I actually have running water. My favorite part, the luxurious big bed. Why is the shower on? The car's off, but the heat is constantly going. I got it set to about 68 and it's already sweaty. Presents for Andrew and Isaac when they come over. Gotta bless the buds, you know? When I go to bed tonight, I of course got the luxurious Uggs bed set up, pajamas, and I got a robe. I'm just gonna be living large. Under here, I got some activities, which I'm not gonna show you yet. It's even better than anything else I got in here. The gnomes are in the way. I have a small flat screen. Voila, right into the wall. So we're gonna be watching Home Alone and Elf on that later. Last but not least, I have a rooftop deck. So wherever I'm parked, if I wanna watch the sunset tonight, I got some chairs in the back, got a ladder, we'll go on the roof, watch the sunset, maybe with some dinner, some snacks, and that's about it. So let's actually invite Isaac and Andrew over. I wanna give them their presents. Oh guys, you got us Christmas gifts? Yeah. Andrew? Isaac, this is just the start of our fun adventures together. You can do hard things. That's Merry true. Christmas, great grandson. <laughs> you say he's not even my grandson, my great grandson. Whoa! Tiny pickleball! Whoa! Oh. Tiny basketball! Oh! Oh! NBA ballers! A mini poster included. <laughs> you didn't get the second present. Nah, no, just one. So you got an encouraging card. Yeah, my card was way better than yours. How much did all those gnomes cost? All the gnomes combined, somewhere around five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars? How much was your budget? <laughs> one hundred dollars. We're about to hit the road in each of our car camping vehicles, and then at some point, we're all gonna separate, go our own ways, and you gotta survive overnight by yourself in your car. By myself? I didn't know about that. So with that being said, let's hit the road, gents. I'm super excited for our first activity because it's this brand new place that opened in our city. I think it's gonna be so much fun with Andrew and Isaac. But first, you need to get some food. I'm going with the healthier option, so I'm here at the salads, bowls, healthy juices place because all I got pretty much were desserts. I don't wanna pass out. Bagel. Mm. This schmuck got some salad. What is that? That looks disgusting. Nobody does pizza better than Einstein bagel. That's the worst pizza I ever had. This is awful. I kind of feel bad for Isaac because I don't know how he's going to sleep in that tiny car. Me and the fellas are rolling up to Dave and Buster's. We're going to do games, some hangs. Dave and Buster's first off of our road trip. Got to figure out which gourmet truffle I would like to bring in with me. Ooh. Have your pick, guys. Ooh, thanks. Great granddad. Justin Stewart. What? I don't have any money left, but I know you got the big baller budget. I have a lot of money left. I know you got money left, and I want to play too and have fun. All right, I'll make you a deal. However many times in a row you beat me in rock, paper, scissors, I'll give you $10 every time. What if I lose first try? <laughs> You're gonna have to ask Andrew. Rock, paper, scissors. That's 10 bucks. Oh! oh! Ooh, 30! <laughs> Oh, oh that's good. Bucks. 30 bucks, I can have some fun with that. All right, let's go buy your card. Ooh. Let's game, boys. Come on, you. Ah. Oh, I got lots of tickets. Yes, confirmed, I win. Ah. Yeah, get out of my way. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Isaac, Ooh. Isaac. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it didn't look like it went up there. Make it stay at the top. It's so nostalgic being here because coming to arcades as a kid was such a blast. But now, being an adult, the games are even crazier. Look at this new game, Dodgeball. Oh, Red King, you're eliminating all your own teammates. Yeah, I didn't think about the rules. Oh, I just, I just thought I was trying to hit whoever. Me too. Football challenge. Me and Andrew, first you get basketball. No one's gotten over 40 yet. You have to get 40, otherwise you're a schmuck. Oh my! Oh, 
Well, I got 50. 40. So I'm not a schmuck. You're no longer a schmuck. Those, we have our photos, one for you, yes. one for you. Thanks. <laughs> now, let's go get our prizes to the prize crew. We got 540 tickets. 430. I got 580. Oh, the quest is 150,000 tickets. Prepare to be blown away. I bought four sticky hands. <laughs> Eye mask, so it'll be dark and I can hopefully fall asleep. It'll let me sleep in longer after the sunrise. Two see. bouncy balls. This is the ultimate bounce. Oh my hey. God. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! What's up, dude? How you doing? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, right in the nose, right? <laughs> oh! Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> that was a direct shot. Was it at least on camera? Uh, well, I didn't get the impact, but oh. I got the aftermath. The convenience of my vehicle. Right here. So if I need a nice drink. Oh, jeez, I thought that was the wall. That's the shower. So far, driving this thing on the road is phenomenal. It's extremely comfortable. I feel higher off the ground. I am loving this. Well, as a car, I love it. But that's not what the challenge is. It's not driving around in a car challenge. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to how to pump my mattress up in here. We're gonna see if that fits. I'm afraid because of my location that I'm gonna be camping. I gotta make sure all my doors are able to close and lock because I'm picking a relatively scary spot. Hey! You want to race? Oh. <laughs> you want to race? <laughs> oh, Get some gas. Come on, let, let's go. Yup, yup, yup. Oh no. Guys, we just got to our location, and my oh my, is this epic. I know exactly what I'm about to do. When you got a nice view, I'm gonna get my chair, go on the rooftop, and have an ice cream. Yes! What? Give me some of that. Give me that. What? Give me that. Uh, step one of the ultimate setup is the canopy. Whoa. Dude, look how big this is! Oh, it goes all the way around! This, this is, is sick. sick! An entire what? car canopy? What? I was not expecting this. I wish I had one of those. I should have got that. Do you have anything in your car that you can show us for the video? As a matter of fact, it be me and Andrew showing up. As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, let's go check it out. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my oh. God! Get out of my house! This is especially going to entertain you. Oh, golf, golf pro. Golf pop darts. Oh. Let's go to the roof and play. I don't want to go on the roof. Two things I forgot to mention, guys. Solar panels. So I'll literally never run out of power. And you can stand on them. They're like super durable. And I have Starlink internet. Hold one. Ouch. Dick, you. You have to lick them? No. By licking it. Oh, stand. I don't have a lot of comfort items, so while the two schmucks are schmucking around, I am gonna start some food, because I'm getting a little hungry. What I'm gonna do is cook a grilled cheese sandwich on the Fiat engine. Uh, how do I pop this hood? I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes to cars. Found it. All right, guys. Using the engine as your grill? This guy, big hater, doubter over This guy, you mean, I'm, this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna just throw the sandwich on here, start it up, throw this bad boy down, and hopefully it melts. I mean. Come on, are you kidding me, guys? Rooftop seating? Dude. Living large, this is incredible. Surrounded by these views? Come on. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is this is way too cool, guys. By the way, if you guys like Christmas as well, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If it's red, turn it white because you don't want to miss out on these uploads. Christmas is almost here. What are they doing? Now, obviously I'm not gonna melt cheese straight on the engine. That'd be stupid. If it works, this will be the second most creative way I've made a grilled cheese. I got the thins so that they melt faster. I don't want to wrap it too much. Yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but uh, I'll just leave out there while we're hanging out. What are you doing in there, Andrew? Uh, I found my tent pole. I know it's not fully set up, but it's actually pretty cool. Oh, dude, this is sick. Hey guys, if you're not following us on Instagram yet, Definitely do that. We got a lot of cool stuff going up on there. Here's all our usernames. Go follow us. I'm under my canopy right now. I've got the vibe set up. I've got a chair with the solo stove. Ah, now I just need a snack. I do have my kettlebell for a workout. Maybe someone wants to join me. I got some lights for under the canopy later, but right now, ah. 
Yes. This is the cooler right now. It's oh 41. That's not good. There we go. We've got the snack shelf installed here. A variety of different snacks to choose from. I can pull this out. Cooking station. I'm gonna put the grill here. I'm gonna fry up some burgers, but that's later. Right now it's just snack time. Mm. I do wish I had a real fireplace right now. I'm gonna make one later because tonight I'm making the ultimate s'mores. I've made it before, but this is a new recipe. Ah. Ooh. Well, you can keep doing that. Me and Isaac have an activity. Couldn't afford full-size gloves, but I found these kids' gloves at Walmart. So me and Justin are gonna play some baseball. Hit me with that home run pack. Oh boy. Gosh! Oh, my thumb doesn't fit in, so I have to like grab from the outside. <laughs> Finally. Oh, no more baseball. We're gonna break a glass or something. Uh, watch the pool. <laughs> I didn't cook anything. That sucked. It was on there for like a solid hour. Hour? There's no way that was on the engine for an hour. Is that even warm? Mm, not really. <laughs> It's like if you like sat on it for a couple minutes. <laughs> I don't know how to get this canopy flap to stay up, so it's more like a fun experience climbing up into the tent. But Drew, come check this out. Ooh. I mean, this might take a little finagling, but this is pretty cool. I've always wanted to be in a rooftop tent. Me too. I've like never been in one, so this is really exciting. I'm not sure I set it up correctly, but it'll work. So once it's ready for bed, I'll bring up all my bedding stuff. I have a heated blanket, which is going to keep me super warm. Oh man, this is just so sick. What? <laughs> There's nothing out the window. You're gonna be cold tonight? No, I got a heated blanket. You're gonna be cold tonight? I hope not. You will be. You will be. You will be. You will be. If you lean forward, it'll go forward? Yeah. This is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like get speed? You have to lean, you have to lean forward consistently without going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> How do you lean forward without falling forward? Oh! <laughs> Andrew's to ride these all the time, so that's why. Andrew is versing me in battle bus. Ready? Wait. Battle mode. Ready? Go. <laughs> Aha! Oh, sorry. You gotta protect your head when you're boxing. Nope. Aha! Turn it! Russian say go! Go! Aha! Yes. No, I got it first. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I got it. You don't got it. Bam! 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 Aha! All right, I'm just too good at boxing. This game is fun for like 10 seconds. Isaac, you're the one that told me about these Oreos, so I can eat one in front of you. <laughs> no! I just want to. I just want to huff. Cause you're home. I have a whole bag. Oh yeah, hot chocolate. You didn't get that from just huffing an Oreo. Yes, I did. You can barely get that from eating it. That's why huffing is actually better. No. That. No. Everyone in the comments, you have to go buy these and do what Isaac's doing, and trust me, you will taste nothing. I'm getting chocolate miss. Now that we've hung out and toured everyone's setups, it's time for us to go our separate ways. We're gonna be all alone for the overnight. I am going downtown. Urban survival tonight. I might try to head just straight to the mountainous woods. I don't know, I'm gonna let the wheel take me. <laughs> You're gonna close your eyes? <laughs> no, just wherever the road takes me. I'll know. There's a moment when you always know this is where I'm meant to be. Later. Nerd. The sun is officially down. It's gonna get dark fast. And this is definitely a different challenge than what we're used to doing. Usually we're all together hanging out in one vehicle for the most of our adventures. But now being separate, it's a whole lot different. And being an extrovert, I usually like hanging out with people all the time. So guess I'm gonna have a chill night by myself, which every now and then is pretty good. So I have some fun activities planned as well. And I've been looking forward to making my dinner. So I'm gonna find where I'm going to stay for the night and get cooking. The first thing I'm gonna do is stop and get a warm cup of coffee. As soon as the sun went down, my fingers started getting really cold. I do a small uh, candy cane mocha. Mm. 
Perfect. Time to go drive off into the woods. Time to go downtown now and find a spot to camp out. I haven't exactly decided where I'm gonna sleep. If I just go straight up, pay for a meter, and maybe go dumpster diving. I like this place because I'm right next to a grocery store if I just happen to run out of snacks, which is, I'm not. The other option is going to the woods, and I don't know if I want to be alone in the woods. I have arrived in the woods. Objectives. Get the campsite set up. Two, cook some burgers. D, make s'mores, and then finally, go to bed. I've parked the Fiat. I am right downtown. There's a hotel right across the street, and I'm probably gonna use that if I have to go poopy. I can feel one already brewing. Being out in the woods by yourself is kind of scary, but I think it'll be way better once I get the tent set up and the canopy, and I know you can't see me, but once all the lights are going, then it'll be a party. I finally found a spot for the night. I have no idea where I am. I think I'm lost, but this is gonna have to do. Before I make dinner, I'm going to change into my luxurious pajamas, and then we're gonna get cooking some food. It's actually looking pretty vibe in here. Jump back in the car. I realized I'm parked at a pretty good slant, so I want to try to make it more even. What's cool about this truck is it's got some roll and pitch gauges, so I'm pretty good side to side, but the pitch, let me see if I can back up and get this more flat. Ah, uh, that doesn't help. I can't see the gauges. What? That made it worse. I found these resistance bands, so I'm going to see if I can get a little car workout with these bad boys in. That was pretty cool. Not only are these jammies insanely comfortable, foam slippers. I'm feeling great, guys, and I am starving. I'm gonna be making a ribeye steak with some garlic and herb butter, a little bit of thyme, and finishing it off with some chimichurri. It's gonna be phenomenal. And then once the steak is done, I'm gonna keep all the juices in the pan and immediately throw in some green beans, more garlic, and some exotic mushrooms. Don't tell me that. Ah, la 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 dee dee. La dee doo. As of right now, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be, which is a great sign. We're gonna be making mac and cheese and hamburgers. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Marshmallow roastums. This is gonna be our burning section. Burgers, two types of cheeses, some pickles. Cool. I'm not sure what the other fellows are having for dinner and what their plans are, but I'm pretty confident my setup is top tier. The urge became too immense. I have to poop. I'm going to this hotel. Unlike Dustin and Andrew, I don't have sweet amenities. Speaking of sweet amenities. Oh, oh flush. How do you flush? After about 25 minutes of cooking, dinner is done. It looks great. The only problem with cooking in here is now my entire house smells like food. Oh, medium. Maybe with a hint, medium well. Probably can't see that. Whoa, don't want to drop that. Phenomenal. We top it all off. We got the gold standard Martinelli's. Only keeping it luxury over here. There's no way Andrew or Isaac are eating like this. Oh, there we go. The full spread is ready. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's juicy. Wow, that's really good, guys. Mm. Mm. I just keep looking around because you never know what's out here. Pretty good, eggnog's good. Next step is gonna try to make a fire and we're gonna make a very interesting s'mores. It's getting late and to be honest, I wanna fall asleep and wake up as soon as I can. I already have a feeling this is not gonna be fun. Dude, this is probably the worst place to be <laughs> in terms of getting in trouble. This is my bed. <laughs> I put the front seats all the way forward and these middle seats all the way down. The mattress is kind of at an incline, which is good for my acid reflux anyway. Now it's just about getting inside. If this was a summer, this would be so sweet. All right. <laughs> How do I close this? Are you ready to see today's insane s'mores combo? Yeah. Obviously, we've got the graham cracker, but for the marshmallow, going with Little Debbie's Christmas trees. And for chocolates, we have a head-to-head -head competition with Hershey's and Mr. Beast bars. I am really excited for this version of s'mores. This is like the Christmas holiday version. I'm having trouble getting the fire started, so I may just cook it on the stove. Hershey's versus Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast? A Hershey's bar. They're actually pretty close. Hershey's has a uniquely weird aftertaste, maybe? But maybe you like that taste, and maybe that's why you like Hershey's, but chocolate's chocolate. <laughs> Time for dessert. Ow, 
seriously? Anytime I see these, it reminds me of Matilda. Have one. What the fuck? I mean, are you kidding me? I'm getting tired, but I just remembered I have a game I haven't played yet. And this was the game I've been looking forward to the most. It's a projecting game arcade. So apparently I can project this on the wall and play blasters. Rocking around the Christmas tree and our Christmas tree's on fire. Oh! What's going on? Oh no, no, no! I was like seconds away from getting it. I gotta make a whole new one now. Little Debbie's Mr. Beast Moore's Taste Test. Mmm. 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 That's really good. You get this kind of like cake flavor in your s'mores. Oh my stars. Let's get the blaster. Oh yeah. This is actually pretty fun. Oh, gotta reload, boys. Here it Dang, I guess I picked the hardest level. I didn't hit anything. Well guys, I think it's about that time. Oh. Whoa, why red light, what? Whoa. I guess I got a infrared light here. Maybe this is better for your eyes instead of looking at bright white lights. <sighs> Ow, I keep hitting my head on things. Aaron Rodgers trading cards. We get a Jets Aaron Rodgers card. No way, that would be nuts. Ooh, there might be something cool here. Oh, that was a cracked ice version. Uh, no Aaron Rodgers. We'll open up another one. Y'all used to love our sports card opening videos. And I really miss doing them as well. So we have a uh, that guy. Oh, Alvin Kamara. Pretty cool. I am saving my favorite item I purchased for tomorrow's breakfast. It's going to be a little unorthodox and pretty out there but I think it's gonna be phenomenal. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep, which I feel like I am gonna have no problem doing that. Plenty of room here, giant bed. I'm feeling great. I hope the other guys are feeling good too. Good night, gnomies. We'll see you in the morning. Got my nice blankie. What's that sound? Oh no, oh no. Can you hear that? There's definitely a hole. Oh man, it must be big too. It's coming out at full speed. I don't have any tape or anything to plug that up. Guys, this is a nightmare already. Just as I thought things were working out, and I was in here all comfy, my mattress starts deflating. Maybe I can sleep through the night before it fully deflates. <laughs> Isaac said I'd for sure fit in a medium, so he's better fit. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. <sighs> It's just crushing all my organs. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> all right, what do you got in here? The mini basketball, I already got one of those. Whoa, oh, Jason Tatum. Honestly, it didn't even take two hours. My mattress is deflated fully, ah. which creates this hole between the seats now. Oh gosh. This mattress was like my most expensive thing. <sighs> oh sh crap, crap, crap. Oh, oh flipping deck. I'm on the floor. I'm on the ground, guys. Ugh. I'm gonna bring up my sleeping gear up to the rooftop tent and snuggle in. I got some good stuff. I'm not kidding. Also got these cool survival lanterns. Ow. Heck yeah. That is sick. Ow. Oh, are you serious? Oh, I can barely climb in here. Whoa. Oh, forgot something. What was it? My heated blanket. That's a must. <sighs> yep. <sighs> cool about the heated blanket is check this out. This is a 12 volt like cigarette lighter and my generator here. Uh -huh. The giant comforter over the blanket and holy smokes, it's gonna be a furnace in here. <sighs> there we go. <sighs> Let's go. Look at this. Perfectly great plan gone to complete ruin. Less than two hours. Ugh. Nothing fancy, guys. This is as basic as car camping gets, dude. Sleeping in your front seat, bundled up, in the middle of winter. This was a rough video to get low baller on. Sometimes low baller's fun. Dude, 100 bucks, not cutting it. Not cutting it at all, bud. Mm. Oh, 
cookies. Cookies! I gotta get the recipe from Les. Put that cookie down now! Well, this has been like one of my dreams come true, of sleeping in a rooftop camper. I've never been able to do that, and this has been a lot of fun. See you guys in the morning. Oh, I was like, where's that red light coming from? The heated blanket. Good night. Guys, I have an extra battery. I'm just gonna leave this one on till it dies, just in case I capture something crazy. Someone comes and knocks on the window or something. Good morning, New York. Shut up! First things first, gonna get some coffee going. <sighs> Nothing like hot coffee in the morning. <sighs> this is so comfy. The generator died at some point, so now it's getting a little chilly. <laughs> what a great overnight. Wait a minute. I literally didn't buy any breakfast items. Ah, we made it. I probably slept like four hours last night. It was not comfy. This thing came in clutch though, because I was able to fall asleep towards the early morning for a little bit. Oh. Somehow I didn't get kicked out. S'mores! Yes! The entire s'mores kit, I can have a literal fire pit in this vehicle to make some s'mores. For some reason, I thought this kit came with everything. The s'mores, the graham crackers, the chocolate, but I was wrong, so we're gonna have to improvise. Peeps and Oreos for breakfast. Hot cocoa and peppermint candy cane. Peeps, give it a try. This was like one of the coolest videos I think we've done. One of my top faves for sure. I think I may have to go car camping more. I love it. Ow, geez, that's hot. Breakfast of champions, right? Yeah, it is not good. It's time to try out the shower. Never taken a shower in a car before. Oh gosh, that's cold. Ah, I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> good night, it's cold. <laughs> ah. Oh, ah. That didn't last long at all, but hey, still feeling great. Don't forget, we got the brand new must-have snacks hoodies, jsuchop.com, jsuchcountry, subscribe.